The start of the new year means bettering yourself from your health, your fitness, and even your beauty regimens. That's right. From our eyes to our lips and everything in between, there's a new procedure happening every day. And joining us now to discuss the beauty trends of 2015 is our fashion expert and blogger of MoreThanTurquoise.com, Jamie Lewinger. Hey Jamie, thanks guys. for... I know it was kind of an odyssey getting in today because of the weather. Let me tell you, I drove through snow, sleet, and rain just so we can talk about beauty procedures for 2015. <laughs> That's, good. <laughs> That's good. It's an important topic here, so let's get right into it. What okay. are some of the upcoming trends for the year? Okay, I'm going to share some trends and I'm also going to share some like natural alternatives. And okay. none of these are too, too extreme. But okay, so we're going to start with eyebrow trend. And okay. what that is, so we know hair extensions yes. mm -hmm. and we know eyelash extensions. The latest trend, eyebrow what? extensions. Really? Yes. That's because, I mean, thick, full eyebrows are so in right now. They are in, but also the alternative to that is yeah. as you age or if you have a medical condition, sometimes you lose your lose eyebrows. Your oh, and so, okay. yes, you want to have full eyebrows, but also maybe you have a medical issue or you're uh -huh. aging. Yeah. And so what they do is they literally take synthetic lashes, apply them in your sparse area with glue, uh -huh. or they weave an eyebrow the shape of an eyebrow and then glue that to wow. your Wow. Yes. I didn't know I didn't know that. That's the latest that. trend. Okay. And so uh, or it's an, it's something to do. And a natural alternative eyelash specialist or eyebrow specialist mm -hmm. say just brush your eyebrows every day. That stimulates your blood flow and okay. it helps with hair growth and don't pluck if you can resist the urge to not pluck. Really? So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So very good to know. Okay, next. People always want those Kim Kardashian lips. Let's talk they lips. Do. Okay, so society seems to have an infatuation with the full lip. So we have fat injection or mm -hmm. fat transfers and we have lip injections and then think Kylie Jenner with the huge yes. overdrawn lip. Uh -huh. And so what's happening is cosmetic dentists are realizing that they're getting more and more requests for veneers, yeah. which, you know, which corrects your teeth uh -huh. and it gives you a wider smile. But when you add a veneer, it actually sort of augments your lip because really? you're putting like a okay. layer of veneer, yes. So, so it pushes them out a little bit more? Interesting, they're picking up on that trend that people are not only fixing their teeth, but they're fixing oh. their lips that way. Now, a wow. natural alternative, your lips are just like any other part of your body. They need moisture, so hydrate, brush your lips, similar to brushing oh, your brows, okay. stimulates you know blood flow and growth. And um, you know, I say look at YouTube because you can learn so many makeup tips yeah. on how to make your lips look larger without having, if that's what you want, without going through some permanent procedure. Yeah. Right. I've learned right. a lot from YouTube. So yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah, I have too. It's great. All right, now another thing too that a lot of people have issues with are leg veins. Yes, and when I'm talking about leg veins, I'm not talking, some people have leg veins, that's a circular, circ circulatory issue. Yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those at the surface little spider veins right. that women yeah. and men get and you don't like it for summertime and you want them to go away mm -hmm. so there is actually a medical procedure that has been around for a while I can never pronounce it correctly it's called sclerotherapy mm -hmm. but what it is um, and they've advanced on it so what they do is they inject saline mm -hmm. uh -huh. into your veins it causes your vein to sort of die off but it's literally like putting salt in the wound if you think wow. about it and yeah. so it's painful so what they're okay. doing now, it's similar. They're using smaller needles. They're like the shape of a th hair, hair uh -huh. very small. Oh, wow. It goes in, opens up the vein, collapses the vein, and then your body absorbs it. Gotcha. So, cool. uh, okay. And it's not that expensive. So if that's an al and a natural alternative is to not wear heels. Really? Uh, heels yeah. can cause it? Uh, heels can attribute <laughs> to heavy okay. exercise. Okay. Uh, and you can get like prescription um, hose that help okay. with that. And they... so. That's kind of a natural alternative. Acupuncture okay. and herbalists can also help. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Uh, so the next thing, I am so clumsy, Jamie. Yes. So this helps am people uh, to fix bruises because I get bruises all the time, running into things, tripping. Okay, so you get in a fight with your kitchen cabinet, basically knob. every day. Okay. So what happens? This is. I just want to touch on this briefly. This is the quickest thing. Dermatologists and cosmetologists are starting to carry this. It's called the V lasers, uh, vascular laser, okay. V beam la vascular laser. You can go in. So if you get hit in the face or mm -hmm. you're bruised, you can go in. 20 second, it's a 20 second laser procedure, and okay. your bruise will be gone at the end of the day. No kidding. No, wow. kidding. no we're not going to try it, Brittany. <laughs> Come on. We're not going to try it. I don't bruise easily. But like if oh, you, you don't? Were... No, no, I don't <laughs> bruise easily. So, uh, 
Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. and a natural alternative, they say, you know, ice packs, uh, yeah. You, yeah. parsley is something you could put on your face okay. or oh. on your bruise. It'll help it break it up. And eating pineapple, the enzyme in pineapple will actually help break up a bruise. I mean, we have a lot of MMA fighters here, so yeah. if you that's guys right. get bruises, here you go. There but if you, you need it gone in 24 hours, that beam that's will the way do to go. It. Yeah. Okay. And last thing, of course, a lot of women, uh, if they wear heavy earrings throughout the years, they're going to start getting a little lag on that. Yep. So there's a solution for that as there's well. There's a solution. Okay, so think, you know, your, child, your, your cute little son, your mm -hmm. cute little daughter, they have these perky little cute little oh, yeah. ears yeah. that you just want to tweak and uh -huh. kiss. Well, as you age, uh, that goes away. You know, the <laughs> elasticity, uh, everything pulls it down. And so... Um, this is not a new procedure. It's been around, but you could, and, but people don't know that it exists. You can have uh, hyaluronic acid put in your ear, and it actually plumps up your ear. It helps with the okay. uh, earrings. But a natural alternative, there's not really a natural alternative, but what they say is you should do this. If you're putting skincare product on your face and your neck, you should be putting it on your ears as well. Another you piece might of skin. Well you might as well start now. Yeah. It'll, it'll slow that process down. Okay. And be mindful of your earring. If you're going to wear a heavy earring, I wear a heavy earring and then I take it like here and then I take it off. Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't wear it all day long. So okay. gotcha. just things to think about. Gotcha. Fantastic. Lots Great. of stuff to think about, yeah. Jamie. And for more information and a full recap on these trends that are hot in 2015, head over to Casa.com. We will have links to more than turquoise.com. Jamie, be safe going home. Okay, I yeah. will. All right. Okay.